Hey, what's up, guys? It's Garcon45 back on the journey to New Horizons with Razor and. What up? <laughs> and I started over again, but hopefully this time it won't have any problems like that because there's no Windows update. You never know. I mean, I'd rather not do it on console because I hate recording. I hate you. I hate recording through Elgato because I've always just had nothing but problems with it. What does Nook have us do now? Oh, Garkon, very good. Great timing. It completely slipped my mind earlier, but there's something very important I need you to do for me, yes? I'd like you to represent New Whore as a member of the Happy Room Academy. <laughs> New Whore. <laughs> now, it's not very difficult. All you have to do is arrange things in your house with a little style, a little flair. On occasion, the Academy will judge your interior design skills and you'll get the results in the mail, hmm? All I ask is that you try to boost your score as best you can, yes? This is not so much- this is not much so much to request, hmm? It's not a request! <laughs> so how about it? Think you can do this? What's that? No way! What?! Who is it that's still waiting for you to repay your mortgage? I wonder what would happen if you repaid your mortgage before coming to do this. Yeah. He'd be like, oh, fair play. <laughs> I can't remember, who could it be? That's right, Tom Nook! Don't you forget it, hmm? No way is simply not an acceptable answer. Of course, low scores won't do much for our town's reputation, and it wasn't exactly soaring to begin with. Everybody here sucks. <laughs> so put some thought into your design and keep your house spiffy, hmm? Clean, na clean now and then, hmm? Well, good luck. Okay, now I can start buying stuff from his shop, so I guess I'll sell all this garbage. So, you have to pay him for your mortgage, you have to work for him, and he's the only one you can buy shit from? Yeah. Okay. Well, you don't have to work, like, the whole working for him thing is over now. That's literally just the tutorial. When did I get this? I assume I got it from a... Okay, I'm kind of spiking my audio, so I'll turn this down a bit. I assume I got it from a villager, but this is something that goes in the museum. This belongs in a museum. I don't know how I got that. You stole it from the Nazis or from Shia LaBeouf, I don't know. Okay. Oh, we got Peanut. That's good? Peanut's cute. It's a little squirrel. A little pink oh, squirrel. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet cherry trees. I can't see. Yeah, it's, that's an issue. Yeah, the, the, that issue is kind of rectified in the later games with the whole rolling pin world. Yeah, shut up and give, like, buy my stuff. Let me buy a shovel. And buy this big dot shirt. Did he give you that? No, he gave me the shirt that I'm wearing right now. The big dot shirt was my pause menu background. Oh, okay. Now it has this plaid shirt that I was wearing whenever the file started. Give me this shovel. That's a shovel. The price is 500 bells. It's a steal at that price. Would you like it? Yeah, I'll buy it. Thanks. Oh, much. so you got money to buy shovels but not to pay your <laughs> rent, huh? I see how it is. To use I bought it from you! Is this money not going toward my rent? I feel like if I can make 200 bells by delivering something to somebody, then 500 for a shovel is kind of overpriced. It's, yeah, well, well, we don't know how, like, how rare shovels are in their economy. I mean, I guess. Just grab it with the item screen and press the A button when you feel like digging a hole. Yes, yes. You can tell something's buried because it'll have a little star. I'm gonna dig up your shop. Now you can bury all the bodies. Well, that's what all the gyroids are. That's like where all the gyroids are. Oh. There's a money. See, this is a dig spot. This is I a money see. dig spot. Wow. Just a thousand bells in a sack buried a few <laughs> inches underground. A long right next to the shop, apparently. too. Yeah, there's a gyroid. Like, this is how you get gyroids. Mega buzzoid, you mean. 
I don't have another shovel, so... If you bury a shovel in the place where you dug up the money, then it gives you a golden sh like, it grows a golden tree. That has a golden shovel. Yeah, just like real life. Yeah. A fossil! Praise Helix! Uh, let's see. I have never seen a video game where you cover up the divots that you made while digging. <laughs> that is a first. This game is a pioneer. <laughs> if you say so. I'm trying to get a little bit of money to start off with. There's well, nothing's as satisfying as digging holes in the fucking goof troop. What you know about a goof troop? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Whenever you pick something up. It's like so grand for picking yeah, up a piece yeah, of wood. Yeah, when you accidentally pick something up, then you have to like put it down <laughs> and pick it up again. That's great. Yeah. Uh, I'm, ne I'm never going to get the golden axe. All these yeah, is, weeds everywhere. Is that in a different game? Golden Axe? It's a pretty terrible game. Oh, I don't doubt it. It's so basic. Oh, okay, cool. I guess I can't do it like this. Oh no, it didn't it didn't crash! Why do I have so many problems whenever I try to do stuff with you? Because internally you don't like me or your computer doesn't. Alright. I don't know. Ooh. Come on. Damn it. Move, Sven. Who is that purple guy? That was a koala. But they're just random koalas, like no. instead of it's rats, Phoebe, you know, koalas. Oh, Sydney, whatever. Sydney, how how clever. Hey, Apparently, yeah. they, they didn't want to name it Brisbane. <laughs> just call it Australia. Yeah. Hey, look, it's Adelaide, the koala. <laughs> you want this one? I uh, sure you want to hear my best Australian Yeah, I was gonna accent? say make it super offensive. <laughs> yeah, offensive <laughs> to all of it. All the crocodile dundies out there. <laughs> oh my god, come on. How oh, nice of you to come and talk to me. It's a You're girl. such a sweetheart, sunshine. I'm a girl, can't you tell? <laughs> From now on, when you see me walking around, be sure to call out to me, okay? You promise? So, right. you must have had some reason for come see me, right, sunshine? Well, the other voice in my head didn't know who you were, so I thought I'd introduce you. I mean, what's new? You're, you'll probably notice as you're walking around New Hall that there are a lot of fruit trees, you cunt. <laughs> to get the fruit down, just face the tree and press the A button to make the fruit fall, sunshine. And he can sell any fruit to find at Tom Nook's shop. Did you know that? I can't tell if that sunshine is supposed to be like a backhanded sarcastic thing with you calling me a cunt a little while ago. Oh, you know it is, mate. <laughs> and if you bury fruit, it will grow into a tree. Crikey! It's, it's crazy. You just bury you an take... apple hole and you'll make a tree. If you take good care of your trees, you can eventually have your own private fruit orchard, sunshine. Mm. Yeah, okay. that's, that's definitely a backhanded, like, you know, calling someone <laughs> sweetheart. Yeah. You know? Alright, let's go, pal. I'm not your pal, bro. I'm not, not your bro, your... pal. Oh, Joan! I just tried to dig her. Well, this is 2003, so dig was pretty big. Hello there, kiddo. It's Sunday morning. I've been selling tundras for about 60 years. Sal Joan, name you can trust. So, do you need me to explain how turnip trading works? I, I can't trade. I can't trust anything with eyes that look like that. They're stars or pluses. Yeah, they're pluses, like goat eyes. Oh, really? That's good. When you get to be my age, it can get pretty exhausting having to explain so much. <laughs> Today's asking price will be 77 bells per turnip. You gonna buy some? I don't think I... I can afford 10. 
Buy a hundred. I can't. Just I don't... get in debt with everyone in the village. You can't. Then leave. Uh. I don't think. I don't think there's a point to this because I have a week and every day uh, the stock market changes. Right. So it's like how much Nook will buy them for. Changes every day, but you have a week to sell them because they'll like go rotten. Yeah, just like any stalker bond. Yes. I mean, it's turnips. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how turnips work, because uh, I'm a carnivore, and I, I don't fuck with that turnip bullshit. I didn't get to the top of the food chain to eat rabbit food, you dig? What is rabbit food? Rabbit food. You know, like, they, they got the ears, and they, uh, they hop. <laughs> I'm glad you added the ears part, because I would have been really confused that you were talking yeah, about Yeah, yeah, but a lot of animals don't have ears, so I <laughs> narrowed it down for you. Another huge Kangaroo? No, oh, that definitely, uh, I, I think, uh, Sydney's got a kangaroo, probably. It's Samson the Mouse. Hey, good morning. Whoa, Gaikan, you're an early riser, aren't you? Oh, yeah, pipsqueak. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you in on something. I have a hunch something's good's gonna happen today. Pipsqueak. Something's good's gonna happen today. Boys, that's a good feeling. <laughs> Give me an oh, yes. Whoops, pipsqueaks. Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? <laughs> so, what is, is it, Pipsqueak? You got anything for me to do? Yeah, I got a job for you. Get on these nuts. No, stay focused. I'm talking bug catching. Now, when it gets dark, things go up a notch. I literally can't do this because I don't have a net. <laughs> you have to think about what... Bugs are out at that time of night, and formulate a plan of attack for each one. Some are weak against grenades, the others... There's one right behind your house. It's an eye. A bug eye. But I guess an amateur wouldn't have any idea what I'm talking about, you dumbass. You look a little amateurish. You'd better go catch a bug and bring it back to me. It doesn't matter what kind. I'll eat it. Don't come back until you caught yourself an insect. You'll get something good if you do, pipsqueak. Fucking well, asshole. I literally can't do that, so... How'd you get a net? Tom Nook has to just sell it. Eh. Or I think I can talk to... I think she's friends with Denise or Mercedes. <laughs> I think I can talk to the fuck. Uh the the bug contest guy. There it is. Whoa. <coughs> it, it's like in Mario where you just keep hitting the same block over and over and going Funny you should say out. that because it's like every time I hit it after a few it was doing the Mario one up sound effect. Oh really? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. It's like, did it did it did Wow. Why did someone hide, like, seven sacks of bells under one rock? There's a bell rock every day. Oh. Ooh, I got 10,000. So, yeah, I'm pretty close to being able to pay off the first debt now. So, what, what are the exploits that speedrunners do for bells? Uh, you can... Give in this game they have a password system where you can like it was a way to trade items between characters like you would give Tom Nook an item and he would give you a password and you could tell that password to a friend and in their game they could input that password to get that item. Right. So an exploit is to get like the most expensive item you can get through those passwords and uh, then you. There's a duplication glitch that you can do in your house. Just like Minecraft. <laughs> like, it involves stacking things on top of other things that you shouldn't be able to stack and all kinds of weird shit. I've seen a speed run, like somebody beat, like paid off every debt in about 30 minutes. Yeah, that is, that is the true millennial dream, isn't it? <laughs> oh, those are the Able Sisters. There are a couple of hedgehogs that make clothes. 
adorable. When you said Able Sisters, I was like, is this going to be like some weird joke where they're in wheelchairs, but they're named Able? Well, they're Sable and Mabel. All right. Hi there, come on in. Welcome to the Able Sisters, where you are the famous fashion designer. Oh, um, uh, Mabel, can you take care of this customer for me? He's looking at me weird. Yeah, she's super shy. What, sis? I'm busy too, you know. Patience. Just a little patience. <laughs> If you talk to her every day, she eventually starts warming up to you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I don't think she says that, no. Well, yeah, not in the localized version, yeah. Alright, well... <clears throat> Can you pick up seashells with a seashell picking up being item? I mean, you just pocket it. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 Wow, oh. nice. For some reason, this happens whenever I'm on the square adjacent to the dock. Whenever I have the Game Boy plugged in. Okay. So now, Cap'n wouldn't be here if I didn't have the Game Boy thing set up. I just tried to dig his boat. I'll let you handle this one. Ahoy there, matey. Be careful okay. I be boat to the island. Did not expect him to be Johnny Depp. <laughs> so, hey. cross. so then, matey, what were that island you wanted to visit? Is it the rum? So I go it. What would you call an island? Um, pleasure. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Um, destiny. Or, yeah, or all right. I love him well. I don't think that would fit. Yeah, you see, that's as far as it goes. Destiny. Yeah, all right then. Born me dinghy. We ye see monkey. Born me dinghy. <laughs> we ye. It's pirate talk, mate. <laughs> fucking make fun of it. I'll parlay you to this week's what? <laughs> locker. It's a different one each week. Shove off. We're bound for Destiny Island to the briny sea. Yo ho, yo ho, pirates! And I thought, what the fuck? Now listen to me, shanty of love and loss. Ninety-nine bottles of rum on the sea. Ninety-nine bottles of rum. <laughs> Take one down. Pass no, he's actually around. gonna start Where singing. The fuck is all my rum? He's, he sings in Animal Crossing. <laughs> is this supposed to be in tune? Yeah, it's it's playing the song. You can't go wrong with me cucumber song. Cucumber, cucumber, so green and long. The best ripe and raw, or with some coleslaw. Please get me two or three that I can gnaw. Yeah, tell me something, me little buckaroo. You got yourself a girlfriend? You judging me, you fucking kappa? You feel so low down and shame, me lovely dear dame. I'm a rat. I laughed at your mum's weird name. There's not the most complicated songs out here on the <laughs> sea, but... It's know, a song of love and here. loss. I've lost a lot at sea, mate. Don't even get me started. Let me have a look at you. Don't look at me. Ah, oh, yes, you'll be dead before the dawn. I mean, Dust in the island, ho. Well, now, that was some bumpy ride, wouldn't you say? I almost lost me vitals. I read that as titties. Okay. <laughs> That's fair, mate. Now ye can turn off your Game Boy Advance, if you feel like doing so. Me? I don't give us quid. I don't give us quid? Nah, no one's got quid out here, mate. Mm. Everything's bells. Kappas are known for kidnapping children. Aye, but only for money. And for sport. 
Gotta get these because they're worth Young money. Young Wilton, I need to kidnap him so I could pay my debt to JV Jones. JV Jones? <laughs> Oi. Don't these look more like olives? Uh, the other reindeer, yeah. What? All of the other reindeer. These are supposed to be coconuts. Yeah, they look like coconuts. I think they look more like like green olives. I mean, a green olive with like a puckered asshole, sure. I mean, who are you to judge? I'm just saying, usually they're a little bit more gaping in my olive experience. Well, yeah, oh, because you, you put a thing, call them names. You put a hole through them so you can get the freaking seed thing out. They never let poor Rudolph. Oh, it's Adobe. Join in the Ben Affleck game. Adobe? Adobe. Yeah, it's gonna update. Watch out. <laughs> Well, good morning. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time you and I have crossed paths. I'm known as Doby, a jack off all trades, a master of none. I answer to neither man nor animal, and your name would be Garkon, I see. It's a pleasure meeting you. Um... Okay. Is he a, like a hippie? I uh, don't know. Living off the land? He has one pot! Hey, that's all a man needs. <laughs> Better not to touch my pot. I swear to God, I'll meditate you to death. And this is Yoga your house. Fire. This is your house on the island. Cool. Do you have to pay for this one too? Nope. This one's free. How come you don't just fucking live here then? I don't know. Be like, yeah, Nook. Uh, I'm gonna renege in that whole mortgage. Uh, good luck finding me. I'm gonna be in the island with the old uh, hippie wolf or whatever the fuck he is. Don't talk to the kappa. He'll take your two children that show up in. Li uh, no, they're in this game. You have children? Nook has children. Oh. Timmy and Tommy. Wow. So he hates his children too, huh? <laughs> I gotta wear the Aloha shirt. Well, yeah, you're already in the lowland region, so... I can't what do you really... do with the Mega Buzzoid? I can sell it or put it in the house. Oh, uh, you can't use it for, like, a suicide bombing or something? Yeah, I can't just throw it at people and then uh -huh. have it explode on them. That's a sh Whoa, Jesus. Look, I mean... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's really excited for very short bursts, and he gets really tired. Yeah. Poor guy, I need some Prozac. Sounds like a pig. I don't have a fishing pole, so I can't really catch any fish here or anything. Where did the dog go? He's wow. hiding behind the tree. <laughs> well, if it isn't you, I wonder if your presence is a sign it'll be so what sort of day it'll be. It'll be home. Oh. What was it you needed to tell me? Home. Oh. <clears throat> Say, Garkon, is there a particular piece of furniture you're looking for? Oh, me, I'm looking for a deer scare. A deer scare? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I've done a lot of interior decorating via The Sims 2 back in 2003, and there was no deer scares that I was aware of. But it's extremely hard to come by, especially on an island. Oh, but how I want it. It consumes my every thought. It invades my dreams. Let's get out of here. Yeah, mm. what's that? You're tired of here already. So you desire to return to New Horn, do you? Yeah, I'm leaving. So tell me this, matey. You want to take a record of Destiny Island with you in your Game Boy Advance? Well, if you do, then turn on the power, you cop brain. And be sure to take her off sleep mode, too. No, thanks. Yeah, no, Flatty. Well, then, climb aboard. Yeah, just do manly men on a boat, are we? What if, what if you don't identify as male? <laughs> then what you're is... two manly women. Yo, ho, ho, a bottle of old cod liver oil. That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> Well, it's a new whore. Yaha, rhymes disappear when the rums go. Prepare for a sea voyage. Swab down your dicks. Yaha, don't get all queasy in the belly now, do you? Here, have some ginger ale. 
also, if I did, I would have thrown up on the freaking departure. The right here, yeah. yeah. I'm not here to make sense, just here to read the pamphlet that the company gave me. <clears throat> the wind, she blows, and your boat, well, she doesn't blow, because that would be against the rules. Was it end? That depends, nobody knows. So do ye carp and scream, or pursue your dreams? Either way, you'll be swayed by the wind's schemes. Ahoy there, Moby Dick! Ye wanna stop rocking a boat? Seize out. Oh, I, guess I, I'm this, done with that. I read something about pants. Ah, uh, where are my pants? Mm, that's the true mystery. I feel so low down in shame, you lovely dear dame. He ended with the same verse as the voyage. Look, talking about I'm, the mom's weird name. You're not paying me for my shanties, so I'd appreciate it if you don't comment on them. <laughs> Tis a mere passion of mine. Now, there be the matter of payment. Aye. Land ho, new whore, Garkon. Don't they just put a twinkle in your eye and a burp in your belly? No. Laddie, I got to say, I like the cut of your jib. You're looking more like a man and less like a seasick clown. Now I rhyme. Goodbye. You did it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept the project. You're not accepting anything. I don't have anything to give you. Oh, shut up, Booker. I don't have any space. That's what I thought. I could go plant some coconut trees. So what do you do to get arrested in this town? Well, the sex dungeon was in a few towns ago, so that's out. This yeah, I, I doubt that I they would know. fucking put Tom Nook in jail, considering he, like, owns the town. <laughs> you have to bury coconuts on the shore, otherwise they won't grow. Uh-huh. Just like sugarcane <laughs> in Minecraft. I'm only gonna plant two, and then I'll go sell the rest. And what do you get out of coconut trees, I wonder? Apples. Ooh, my favorite! The thing that sucks is that he's not gonna, I don't think, have the anything other than a shovel for a while. Because in this game, you like it staggers the tools that you can get. Of course it does. Where, where does this uh, game stack up amongst the fan base compared to the others? I feel like nostalgia makes people remember it more fondly than they probably should. It's still one of my favorites, but I, I kind of like every game in the series equally. Which is very rare. Interesting. And there's... They're all four different main enough. Mainline? Yeah. Four mainline, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Saving those for tomorrow. Uh, I guess I should just go sell my shit. I'm and guessing you can't, like, knock people unconscious with a shovel and then take their money? You can hit them with an axe and make them sad. That would work, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can hit them with a net, too. You can also push them in a hole. No, I want that. If you push them in the hole, can you then just, like, cover up the hole with your shovel? No. Aw. You can only push them into, like, if you bury a pitfall. Well, I mean, if you if you pitfall them, then you can charge your forward smash and, like, kill it, like, 40. Well, that depends on the character. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think villagers, Sheik's gonna be strong. killing at 40. I mean, you could charge that puppy for a, quite a bit if you got him in a pitfall. Lots of fossils. What do you do with these fossils besides get ammonites? 
uh, whenever, like, tomorrow I'm gonna get a letter from the museum saying, Hey, you dug up a fossil, send it here and we'll identify it. This belongs in a museum. And then I'm, like, I, I mail out the fossils and then bring them to the museum. Like, once they send them back. In later games, all you have to do is bring the fossils to the museum, and then the museum will identify them. But in this one, you have to mail them off. And how do you get Aerodactyl? There is actually a Pterodactyl model, like fossil. Wow, what? What is? where did we go in here? What? What is this building? This is the museum. Oh, for why did the museum have some like shitty second graders drawing of a cat out front? <laughs> It's an owl, not a cat. Well, it, <laughs> well, that's it was a bad drawing, so I don't see how that's my fault. Uh, what time is it? I'm so very sleepy. Oh dear me, a thousand pardons. So terribly sorry. I'm afraid I'm afraid I'm a bit of a night um owl. Yes, yes. Well, by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Ooh, ooh, I say, splendid. What no doubt priceless item might you have brought for us today? He's absolutely terrified of bugs. What happens when you show him a bug? Like, he starts, like, yeah, ah, God. <laughs> like, he starts freaking out. Hooty who, I say, this is... <clears throat> this is that perfect painting I've heard so much about. We meet at last. The original in all its glory. I've only seen reproductions until now, and I must say it's always stuck in my craw. Words fail me, truly. I can, I suppose, one can say it's a perfect painting. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Might there be Oh, wait, you can only you? donate to this museum? You can't fucking sell shit to them? Nope. Wow. What a bunch of non-profit assholes. And now the painting will be up here in the museum. Yeah, I also saw that it's the Mona Lisa is right there on the carpet. <laughs> the Mona Lisa is a painting that you can give to them. Wow, so Leonardo da Vinci is canon in Animal Crossing. There's also the Thinker. Uh, like there's a whole bunch of, like, Guernica. <laughs> Fucking Frida Kahlo's. <laughs> Georgia O'Keeffe vagina flowers. I don't know about that. Also, I love how this dude is just basically Rowlet. He's a brown owl with a green bow tie. <laughs> Uh, if I try to give him the fossil, it'll say, Oh, hey, <laughs> an unexamined fossil. My heart is. Yeah, he loves fossils and he loves to Yo, eat he also fish. loves Twitter. <clears throat> My heart is set at Twitter at the very thought. I'm a fervent student of pa paleontology and I'm fairly confident in. Uh, I can assess the identity of this specimen. However, I must confess, I've yet to receive my certification, so I can't offer an official examination. If I were mistaken, you see, I fear I would be, shall we say, severely chastised. Yes, quite severely indeed. I'm terribly sorry about this, but you'll need to send this to the main faraway museum for a proper examination. Incidentally, just by the by, I believe you received a letter from the faraway museum, correct? No. How the fuck do you know? I haven't. Whew, no letter yet, eh? Well, don't fret about it over much. Classic English word. <laughs> I believe it should arrive sometime tomorrow. Once you receive it, you'll be able to correspond with the Faraway Museum, and that'll be nice. Yeah, what? Brilliant minds they have over there. Simply brilliant. Send them any fossils you have. You happen to excavate. They'll return your fossils as soon as they've finished identifying them. Rather tidy little system, don't you say? Oh, who, one more thing. While you're waiting for your initial correspondence from the Faraway Museum, you must not rebury fossils in the earth. This is very important, you see. Vital, terribly crucial. We couldn't figure out how to not break that bit of code. Don't ask me why, to be perfectly honest. I'm not quite sure of the reasoning myself, what what? It seems reburying fossils creates some confusion about whether or not you're ready to receive that letter. Sounds a bit daft, doesn't it? In any case, you don't have to carry the fossils with you. Just don't bury them again. Wow, so they found a bug and, and they, they couldn't, couldn't figure, figure out how to out, fix so it. It's like, um, <laughs> have him tell you you shouldn't do this because there's a bug in the game and we couldn't <laughs> fix it. Yeah, they just couldn't figure it out. Yeah. I mean, not, like, why would you rebury a fossil anyway to grow a fossil tree? Yeah. So, uh, as they say, is that I do hope it's clear, eh? What? 
<coughs> I trust you'll follow my instructions to the letter. Now is there anything else? Blah, blah, blah. That being said, I must confess there's not much to see. Literally the only thing in this museum right now is that painting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is an owl. Okay. Yeah. It looks less shitty. I thought it was like a crappy looking cat. <laughs> <clears throat> well. So wait, do they only employ owls? Yes, the only two people that are ever employed here are Blathers and Celeste. But in later games, they add a coffee shop that I think is also run by... Or no, it's a... He's a pigeon. The coffee shop is run by a pigeon. Interesting. I wonder what kind of social commentary they're trying to make with that. He also gives you pigeon milk in your coffee. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> also didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure birds don't fucking lactate. Well... Because they just fucking baby bird all their food to their babies, hence the term. Well, that... I guess there's only one other so, explanation for that, then. Yeah, the only explanation <laughs> is it's not milk. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... What other kind of white substance comes frequently out of birds? Hmm... I'm gonna... Oh, there's a cockroach. If I brought that to Blathers, he would freak out. Like, he starts screaming. It'd be funny if he started just fucking cussing. I mean, yeah, if it was just, like, censored. Yeah, like... Get that away from me! <laughs> but I suppose we have to have it for our exhibitions. Trying to get a little bit more money because I'm so close to being able to pay off the first debt. Hey, Joan, how'd you get all the way over here? It's a good question. Is that the only freaking villager that moves? No, the villagers can, like, be just around town. Yeah, but they'll still ask you to do everything for them. <laughs> yeah. So Even if they're standing right in front of the person that they want to bring stuff to. Yeah. I pressed the wrong button. I'm just, I'm like a thousand seven hundred away. Fuck you. I think it's 88. No, because I, it was more than a thousand. I think I have enough. Where was the town? Okay, there it is. The post office. Bridges in this town are awful. Yeah, there's no trolls under any of them. I mean, how do you know? We haven't looked under. Well, I just, you know, I, I just, you would know if trolls are canon in the Animal Crossing universe. Oh, oh that's wait. right, the e-reader. I forgot that you don't do that here. In the other games, or in... In New Leaf, you do it from the ATM, which is over to the left. Yeah, pay off the debt. Pay off the debt. Yeah, I can. I have enough. Nice. Who did? I forget who voiced Pelly. I think you gave her a smoker's voice, and I said, "No, that's Phyllis." Um, I, I, I can't. I can't. I don't even remember doing Pelly. Yeah, we had to come in here to give the letter to. Two words so, for one of the villagers, and I said, like, Tom Nook told me to eat your parents or whatever. Yeah, 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 to the cat lady that wanted to fuck you or something. <clears throat> was, wanted was... me as a slave or something. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because she, she actually runs the dungeon. She just, Tom Nook just rents it out. It was Pearl. Yeah, yeah. Well, looks like you paid back all of your loan. Thank you very much. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, really? Come back anytime. Bye. I'll eat your children. <laughs> See, there's where the picture's from. 
You know that picture that I sent you? Yes. That's that. This is like it was. Somebody cut cut it out of one of these uh, stills. Right. <clears throat> now go talk to Tom, and he'll say. We're on a first name basis now, by the way. Go talk to Tom, and he'll say like you can upgrade your house. Upgrade, like, the size of it, or just put furniture in there? Just make it bigger. Wow, I didn't know you could do that with houses. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you, Gawkon. Thanks much. I very much appreciate you paying Thanks off Thanks much. Your... Thanks over much, actually. <laughs> Fucking over much. Paying off your house in such a timely manner. You're a dynamo, yes? Again, we're switching what fucking decade we're in. <laughs> dynamo? I knew you'd pay it all back, Gok. I never doubted. You're quite responsible for someone your age. Is this your way of telling me your house is too small? Don't be shy. It's normal to want a bigger home. Hmm? It's just animal nature. I'm not an animal. Well, if you like, I can remodel You're for you nicely. Humans are animals? What are you talking about? Uh, they're not. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, they are. I can easily make it bigger. All right. <clears throat> and you'll be able to fit more and more furniture in it. And with more furniture comes more happiness. So how about it, hmm? Would you like me to remodel your house? Sure. That's what I imagined. And if anybody would want to remodel their house, it would be you, Garkon. So since we're remodeling, what color roof would you like your new house to have, hmm? Another color. How about one Surprise of these? Surprise me. Another color. Blue. Why is blue on the third page? Yeah, it's only like the most popular favorite <laughs> color in the whole world. I see, I see. Yes, blue's a fine color. Very good then. Can well, like polka dot or like gunmetal? I should be finished completely like doubling the size of your house by tomorrow. I bet you ah. can't wait. Well, I mean, I can't complain with the price then. <laughs> the price is actually really freaking ridiculous. Like this first price upgrade is a hunt like I think a hundred and fifty thousand. I mean, but he's like doubling the size of your house in a day. Like finding a contractor you can do that. Is it only a hundred and fifty thousand like in the later games? This one might only be like seventy eight thousand. This was a you. fucking Ty Burrell. Uh, well, the belt guy got how many be assisted? I mean, you did Aaron Hansen's robot voice, but okay. <laughs> it's just so excited. <laughs> Let's save. Would you like to save? That's right. We quit process. Please do that. I'm crazy. <laughs> All right, that's the end of this day. Good night. Good night. And now there's a koala staring at me from the foot of my bed. Ah, yes, Adelaide the Koala. <laughs> okay. <laughs>